Okay, so I lied. There's actually one more piece of equipment that would be useful to have here, which is a file of some sort, because when you cut this edge along here, there will generally be some wood splinters you'll want to get rid of. All right, so now here comes, the real, here comes the only really dangerous part of this. What you're going to do is you're going to take the edge right here, and you're going to cut a little bit of a notch in it. Now, if you have a chisel, that's probably the most efficient way of doing that. But if you don't have a chisel, if you're working with a basic saw, what you're going to do is you're going to take your saw and just do a couple of very quick cuts back and forth along that. And that part's not so dangerous because you can have something hold the, hold the piece of wood. As we have right here, it's actually clamped onto a workbench. Where the dangerous part is, you've got to also do that with the piece that's going to become your, uh, become your stop here. And here you notice that I've already cut it, and you don't see the bandage that I have on my other hand. Uh, what's left of it anyway? So 